Hello, my name is Lucas. This is a bit of lit. I'm a little bit in a panic. We have 37 minutes left in the month. I have finally taken the lead, though had my competition succeeded in their quiz on what they have described as their favorite book, Beloved, by Toni Morrison, uh, he would still be in the lead, and I might still be doomed. Um, but, thanks to some middle grade books and uh, some rereads that I've been doing over the course of the month. Um, well, three of them, kind of. And because uh, two of them were longer and one of them was shorter, but it takes, so oh, it's quite difficult to read given the structure and the style. And then one of them I uh, finished in just a couple days because it's in the past week. Um, and I haven't really talked about them because I uh, have already made videos for them. And so anyway, I finished the Harry Potter series strictly to be competitive in this reading race, and it definitely has made me competitive. Um, put me just below before I finished all of these books. Um, in the past couple of days uh, that I had been rereading. Um, and I was quite frustrated with that because I was hoping, like, I was hoping to just, like, destroy the competition because I knew it would bring me to three million words or a little bit over and then just finish Inkheart, which I also read, um, which is an excellent book. There are parts of it that are, I don't dislike anything about it, but it's just kind of like, it's so crazy. <laughs> um, because there's this little girl and her father, and he has this ability to read people into a story and characters or things or creatures out of a story. And that is what this book is. And he brings out an evil dude and his minions and some other people and it's really a wild wild book uh and some you know just there are other characters that get read in and out and just <laughs> it's wild there's a moment where uh Inkheart is a book in in this book so it gets very metafictional in a way um and the author um, that wrote the book that um, the bad guys are from. <laughs> he, he's well aware of who, what kind of people they are, but he doesn't want to meet them, but the other characters have, and, uh, you know, it, it just, it's so wild. And I really like this book, Cornelia Funk, great. There are two more. Um... I will not be reading them for a month. I am not competing in August. I uh, have burnt out on reading uh, for this race. Uh, I'm going to be reading, of course, uh, but I'm going to be reading things that don't have quizzes because I do not care. I uh, Whether I win or lose, you know, there's 33 minutes left. Uh, whether I win or lose, I think I've proven myself. You know, and I still have 600,000 words unaccounted for because there's no quiz. And the quiz creation thing doesn't work. So it doesn't matter. I won no matter what. Okay? Anyway, <laughs> so I read Harry Potter. I read Inkheart, very cool book. I recommend it. Cornelia Funk, wonderful author. Okay? This is the kind of book I wish I had grown up with. But I didn't. I grew up with Harry Potter, and I loved it then. I don't now. Okay, cool. Anyway, the rereads. Watership Down, which I read a couple months ago. I have made a video on it. Um, excellent book about some rabbits that uh, escape for a new life to avoid danger that one of the rabbits sees in a premonition. Um, really cool fantasy. Very uh, male-centric, though, so, you know. There's that. Uh, East of Eden, classic. Tim Shell, you know what I'm saying? Thou mayest, thou mayest not. <laughs> um, whew, 
those two took me the longest to um, basically that was a day one decision uh, because the dude had a one million word lead on day one and it was like uh, in my brain and every day since then because I you know I have to win um, it's been like in I think the music is from Kill Bill I don't know if it's in both volumes but volume one um, where you know you hear those sirens and the mu the camera goes wild I think and it's like dun, 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 Actually, I don't know. I don't remember how it goes exactly, but uh, yeah, that was so clutch, so clutch. Um, I finished those a couple days ago, and then I was working on um, Mrs. Dalloway, which I have raved about, uh, and Easter of Eden, of course, I made a four-part series, one for every part, um, and... Yeah, uh, Mrs. Dalloway, amazing work of Stream of Consciousness, uh, Peter Walsh and Septimus Smith and uh, Lucrezia and, of course, Clarissa, all, all darling, all wonderful. Um, <laughs> just an amazing work, and I, again, recommend it. Uh, but very difficult to read because of its style. That took me a while. Um, I didn't start it as early as the others. But, you know, normally I just read straight through a book. Uh, these ones I kind of just on my Kindle. And uh, for the Penguin Classics that I have for the other, for, you know, for Mrs. Dalloway. And for the other one I read, which is uh, 1984. Also finished that one. Devastating, painful to read, given the state of um, American politics, but that's just life. And we've got half an hour left of the month, so we're going to leave it at that. Harry Potter books. Oh, and I read uh, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Not a big fan of Nobody Owens, just not really a big fan of Neil Gaiman in general. Uh, I mean... Odd and the Frost Trains was all right, uh, but it was a short story. If it was longer, I would probably be more annoyed by it. Um, again, Coraline, still like that one. But the only book I've ever liked by him that I've read. Uh, we will see where the future takes us, though. And we've got 29 minutes left in this month in Shanghai, and I am hoping that I've won. And if I do, you are going to see a video of that. If I lose, you're not going to see anything. <laughs> okay? That's just the way it is. Okay, bye. Thank you.